on the so really i've never seen or heard of anybody doing that i've seen people like flick the cigarette down and then they step on it but i've never seen them raise their foot up and then stick it into their shoe like that another look at the window perhaps the one he was shot through i don't know i can't think of anything better it's a common practice. Yeah, I've been sleeping with my gun in my hand this whole time. Newly replaced glass shining in the morning light. You hear traffic outside, back in the world again. All right, put this away. Look, the door is open. You can walk right into Kim's room. You see gleaming white enamel, no bottles inside. The bathroom mirror has been wiped completely. The alarm is set for 6.50 a.m. What a weirdo. Medicinal supplies on the cupboard. Mirochrochrome, a scalpel, antibiotics. These papers bear the stamp of the RCM. They appear to be fragments of the lieutenant's paperwork, half finished. You may have notes on this and other recent cases. I had got open the door to your room. You were running a low bacterial fever the first night. I thought I was dead for a moment. Back there on the plaza? I think you very nearly had a heart attack. Alcoholism has damaged you more than bullets have. We should go. <laughs> He's like, you drank so much, your ass is so weak. You got hit in the shoulder, had a heart attack, and then almost died. The Stereo 8 player has been reunited with its right speaker. Ouch, that leg hurts. Maybe if you don't run, it'll be okay? But walking is so slow in this game. Looks like she left something on the table. Next to the stack of bills, you see a note. A few lines jotted down in large, uneven handwriting, just as the writer was about to rush out the door. I'm sorry, I fucked everyone over. P.S. I didn't kill him. P.P.S. Gift upstairs. A gift. The lieutenant turns to the staircase suspiciously, looking for any sign of another presence in the shadows above. Seems she left in a hurry. It's hardly surprising. What could this gift be? I am not drawing my gun. Yet. But I don't like gifts. He says he's not, but his hand moves instinctively toward his holster as he studies the note. Relax. Not everyone is out to trap you. The medicine cabinet is empty. Not even a toothbrush. Pity. She really cleaned this out. Mm -hmm. She certainly had her priorities straight when she was packing. Close the cabinet. I mean, honestly, if you're trying to empty a medicine cabinet and you've got your suitcase, you can just like put your arm and just knock everything over. Boom, done. Even steal the hotel soap. A red thread made of nylon, it leads out of the room and onto the roof. Is that supposed to be, like, tracing the bullet? You see the same two neon-lit shapes, a man and a woman. Only now a red thread bisects the room, pointing from the antenna outside to the cupboard on the wall. This is ballistics. She's left a trajectory for us. The lieutenant tests the thread with his finger. Drawn taut, it rebounds instantly. A ray of backward motion explodes from his mouth to the roof outside, A prime, to then widen into a radius of locations in Martinez, B prime, B double prime, and B triple prime. Where does the thread lead? It suggests the bullet came from the extreme upper quadrant of possible angles, from a point beyond the roof, B triple prime, the island in the bay. Is she trying to tell us the shot came from the islet? Unless she thinks the perpetrator was standing on the ring antenna. That is where the thread seems to point. How did she know how to do this? She was there that night. She would have known precisely where the bullet hole was in the glass. It also looks like there may be more to her skill set than we know. The question is, should we trust her? Of course we don't trust her. I don't know. At this point, 
He stops mid-sentence. What difference does it make? How did she put the thread through the window glass? I assume she made a small hole in the window that they had just replaced, so I'm sure that guy's going to love it. Yeah, it's weird, because, it, like, in my mentally reconstructed image, it looks like the glass is broken there, but then she's showing up there. This is also the only point of origin we haven't ruled out yet. So it is. For a second, he seems tired. Maybe we need to go to the island? <sighs> the wind blows in from the open window. The lieutenant sighs, looking into the cold distance across the water. He is trying to justify it to himself. I'm going to the island. Are you in? Of course, of course. I'm in. He takes a second to gather himself and then says, How do we get there? Joyce Smith here had her sloop, but she's gone. Lelian, the net picker? She's tarring her boat. Ah, yes, of course. The village. Let's go. Let's look out uh, outside. The thread is tied to the antenna. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if there was a way to get to the island earlier. Or if you were just supposed to get to it at this point. Oh, you're up. It's good to see you back on your feet. Did you like your room? I cleaned it for you. I did. Thank you. Big improvement. You're welcome. I thought it would be nice for you to wake up in a clean place after you, let's be fair, defended this establishment and its clientele from gunfire. Defended maybe putting it a bit generously, though. I had a great view of you doing nothing to stop those psychopaths. Then I crawled inside. Bullet I talked. Flying. Anyway. <clears throat> he clears his throat. He really wants you to realize that he was also on the balcony looking by. In the danger zone, so to say. I wish you a quick recovery. Also, you and your partner are staying here free now. This establishment supports cops. The stay is free, the drinks are not. It just felt I needed to specify that. <laughs> Where did everyone go? Oh, you know... People don't tend to stick around after shootouts. Turns out they're not good for business. What happened to the man with the sunglasses? I don't remember everyone who comes here. And many people wear sunglasses inside lately. Must be a fad. Okay, so when it happened, you were right out there, on the balcony. Yeah, I was, yeah. That's because I'm a bad ass. <laughs> it really took courage. <laughs> Don't pick at him. Just nod stoically. He nods back at you, even more stoically. Just two badass men nodding stoically. <laughs> Make that three. The lieutenant is nodding too. We're all nodding. Hands crossed. <laughs> uh, are Lena and Morel still in town? Ah, uh, them. Nice people, but no. Just Lena said they were going man. back to Jamrock, no, and I saw them pass by outside. This was before the fight started. I'm glad she got out of here before all that. Bullets flying and stuff. People inside were quite terrified, you know. I had to take action and step outside, too. Aw, oh, but we weren't done looking for the phasmid. I mean, you're a detective. Perhaps you can track them down. Shouldn't be that hard. Exactly, but only in due time. Crypto business is not a priority right now. You'll see her again one day. You know it. Things went like they did for a reason. All right, thanks. No problem. Bye. Oh, one of the only surviving Hardy Boys. Seeing you approach, the bruised man clenches his fists. Oh, it's you. Didn't think we'd see you walking anytime soon. Elaine, look. It's the cowardly cop. Huh? What? He looks up, his eyes full of confusion, as if he'd just woken up from a deep sleep. He's very, very drunk. Our condolences for your losses. Any idea what happened to Klausia? Damn songbird of misery, that one. The man shakes his head. And do you have any information on these songbird of misery? 
God said she took off some time before the firefight. That's all. Trying to remember if there was anything. Oh, yeah. He said she seemed to be in a real hurry. Take care, guys. Yeah, you too. It's a rough world out there. It's not easy being a cop. We were too hard on you. It's weird. He's being nice to me, but this conversation opened with him saying the cowardly cop. Both of you. We shouldn't have fucked with you like we did. You got between us and a lot of bullets in that fight. Matinees owes you one. That's kind of you to say. Take care of your friend, okay? I will. You take care of yours. A sharp pain shoots up your side and into your stomach. You must not look too good. Luckily, it passes. Wait, what was the thing that popped up? Oh, there was a thing above my head for just a second, then it went away. Whoa, what? What does it say? The graffito has been painted over the traces of the fight that took place here. It smells of blood and heavy fuel oil. Oh, the artist lady. Looks like Cindy the Skull finally found the words for her masterpiece. The lieutenant crouches, touching the fuel oil with his finger. Looks like it, yes. This is still fresh. It wasn't here yesterday. I smell heavy fuel oil. And blood. Some of it is even yours. Ooh, I'm art. Heavy fuel oil. Isn't that flammable? <laughs> no, 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 no. Bad idea. Okay. Sorry. Whew. Close call. <laughs> Interfacing. Calm down. It's like, yo, we could burn stuff. Wait, who's this guy? This is my bench. It's usually empty. Officer. Oh, it's him. Care to play your game with the lonely old man? Actually, never mind. Wouldn't be the same. What? 28% chance? Give me your sandwich. <laughs> Where's Renee? The prick is gone. I... I can barely believe it. But he's really gone. Gone? Gone where? Hell, most likely. <laughs> he was an absolute Kent. <laughs> what? Was he killed during the mercenary tribunal? Oh, he would have liked that. Violent lives ending violently. That's how we wanted to go. Sadly, it was not the case. How did he die exactly? His hungry little heart finally gave out. The dock workers found him in the guard booth this morning. Wasn't even supposed to be working for another week, but he just had to prove how tough he is. Did he feel like he has to prove he can still pull his weight? Doesn't need handouts. Guess he was about to head home. Cause when the dock workers found him, he was wearing civilian clothes and not the Kuketu uniform I saw him in all the time. Sometimes I thought he was wearing it just to piss me off. Now the joke's on him. Cause he's gonna be buried without it. Do you think our conversation about his job pushed him to go out there? No. Rene was the most stubborn man in Revachol. Nothing you or I could say would ever push him to do anything. The man was completely immovable. He has doubts. But right now, he just wants to move on and not think about it. I offer my sincere condolences. Yes. We are both very sorry for your loss. It is what it is. Part of life, really. But to know someone for 79 years, then one day they're just gone. I just don't know anymore about anything, really. But you, you must need something. It's too bad Renee's gone. I was hoping to ask him about Maybell's hold out the flower. Rene wasn't really what you'd call a botanist officer. And believe me, he didn't like insulindian lilies. Of course he didn't. Flowers are for pansies. Stop wasting time with them. Wait, Insulindian lilies? Hmm. That's their old name, dating back to the time of kings and crests, and all that other stuff he loved so much. 
Why didn't he like them? There were many reasons, but mostly it was the communals. They called them the belts of revolution. A sad smile passes his face. I guess in the end, the Insulindian lilies were just another piece of the whole Insulinde. The realists had to surrender to the Mazovian insurgents. It doesn't really matter anymore. Alright, bye for now. Okay. Can I... Where is this going? Oh, Fisherman Shacks and talk to the lady with the nuts. Officer, what happened? You're wounded. Why are you wounded? You look terrible. She sounds almost disappointed with you. Reprimanding you for falling and hurting your knee. Uh, some people hurt me. Is this from the shooting in town? We heard gunshots. Not that we don't hear gunshots all the time, but they were closer than usual. There was an exchange of fire on the Rue de saint guilaine It's nothing to be worried about, madame. Uh, I have a question for you. Of course. Can I help you with something? <laughs> you need to go on a date with another drunk badly. <laughs> uh, we need to get to that island. That won't be a problem. It's wind still and the tar just dried. We've got two days of relative sunshine ahead. What's on that island? Nothing. Wait, there's no voice acting? Nothing, just ruins. Used to be some kind of fortifications there before the war for the communards. An anti-aircraft gun, I think, bombed to bits in the landing. I haven't been there myself, always steered clear of it. Hasn't been there herself. Who has then? You said you haven't been there yourself. Who has then, if not you? My husband used to drink there. Him and his drinking buddies. Always seemed like a bad place to drink to me. People died there during the landing, you know. My mother told me. This must be one of the many fortifications that was used in the dying days of the revolution against coalition forces before they took this city. The kids sometimes go there too. I know they do, on rafts. I tell them not to, but they bring back old bullet casings and such. Which kids? The twins. She points God to forbid the two... they bring the girl along on some rickety barge. The two little boys go on a raft to the island. Can we maybe ask your twins about that place before we go? Would that be all right? Be my guest. They have a strange way of talking. See if you can get anything useful out of them. I seldom do. Is there anything I should know about getting there? Well, most of it's sunken. Underwater. That means concrete underwater. Cut your boat if you're not careful. Be sure to enter from the south side. Water's deep there. Uh, chat, just a moment. Gonna tell the boy goodnight. I'll be right back. Alright. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, can we borrow your boat? If you promise to bring it back. And no scraping the hull. I just got it nice and yellow. And no drinking on the boat. And no joyriding either. Of course, ma'am. It's only for a day or two. Official police business. Aye. Not along attentively. The crow's feet disappear from the corners of her eyes as she smiles at you. Thank you. We'll use your skiff to get there then. Please be conservative with the fuel, will you? Just filled her up, but it's a small tank. Night. Be seeing you. All right, let's find the boys. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Okay, kids, you've been to that island, right? On that island? Yes, that one. I need to know what's there. That's, um, nothing. It's just a sea fort and some plants. You can take a raft there. It's great. And, and we make a fire. We make a, we make a fire. Mm-hmm. Gather the sticks for the fire and bullets. Or oh, not real bullets. Empty bullets. 
Okay, an alarming possibility just came to me. The kids take old bullets that they find in the dirt and throw them into a fire on the island just to see them go boom. And one of them went from the island all the way over to that hotel room and killed that guy, which started this whole chain of events. That thought just entered my head. Bullet shells. There are a lot of them left over from the war, but this could be important. You mean shells? I don't know what those are. What then? There are lights. The fire guy comes and asks us to yes, put the fire yes. out. They must mean a human being on that island, someone, but it's cut off. Someone lives on the island? No. The boy answers, shaking his head vehemently. Yes. His brother looks at him, then at you. Let's go with yes. Why is he the fire guy? Because, because... The boy pauses to think. Because he asks to put the fire out. Why does he ask you to put the fire out? Um, I don't know. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like people to be there. You shouldn't go. Yes. The other one adds laconically, standing with his hands glued to his sides like a little tin soldier. You mentioned something about lights? I... I don't know. Did you mean there are electrical lights? He points to the street light. Um, yes. Is there anything else you can tell me about this guy? Age? Does he live there? No, he doesn't live there. I don't think. No, he lives there. Been there twice, two times. Uh, he doesn't live there. He isn't there sometimes. Anything else? What does this guy look like? I don't know. They say almost in unison. How come? We, we ran. He just yelled, we shouldn't be there. Your father used to go to that island too, didn't he? Our father killed himself. Don't say that, he didn't. The boy's eyes well up like he's about to start crying. Say nothing. I'm sorry. The one says to the other, rubbing his brother's shoulder affectionately. Is that all you know? Is there anything more you could tell me about the island? There's a... The boy says, rubbing his eyes. It's clear he has no intention of finishing the sentence. Lights. Fire guy. We should check up on that island. I like how there's an option that says kids are stupid. Bye, kids. Okay. A skiff with a small steering engine in the back floats on the calm mirror of the sea. Its two seats are empty. Once you get in, that's it. One pull of the starter handle and you're off into the bay. A strange trepidation comes over you. Are you sure you want to go now? Have you made all the necessary preparations? Closed all your accounts? Remember what the net picker said. It's a small tank. You won't be going back and forth on this. You take the engine, Kim. I'll hold the boombox. What? What do you mean, what? How else do we blast Sad FM on our way to the island? Fine. Let's blast Sad FM, then. <laughs> sad FM is a radio station specializing in sad, slow rock songs. You seem to know its frequency by heart. Get in and ride to the island. But muck the Insulindian Phasmid. Oh my gosh. Dude, I really... <laughs> I, I really do have a boombox. Dude, why are we standing with one leg up there? Like Captain Morgan. Sit down, you idiot. That's not safe. One, two, three, three. One, two,
Just imagining Kim just like, oh my god, this freaking guy. This is a weird time to tune in. Well, you just missed the gunfight. Muck, did you see a Reddit post of a Guild Wars 2 player with Disco Elysium Glam? No, I didn't. if we uh, hit any, uh, she said there was concrete under the water in a bunch of places. At least if we hit any of it, it'll be Kim's fault. to a slow stop. The lieutenant turns the engine off. Then, there's silence. In the silence, a sputter of wings. A flock of quails takes off in the distance. Let's go. Climb out. Task updated, got to the island. A makeshift bridge. The bombs are powerful enough to break the foundation. The rusted chain trails off into the ocean. The chain trails off into the ocean, connecting the island to the supply depot on the coast. Point to it. This leads to the depot in Land's End. Ah, yes. So it seems. What do you think it was used for? For bringing munitions to the island, maybe? And supplies? You could also lock the bay when you raise the chain. Lock it from whom? From enemies. Enemies of the commune of Revachol. This sea fort was a revolutionary fortification, I believe. Finish that. I remember in, um, I believe it was Assassin's Creed Valhalla, there was um, forts you would have to break into that would have chains that would go across the surface of the water to uh, prevent boats from passing and you would have to um, lower them so that you could get through. Attention, inflammable. Inflammable? Does that mean not flammable? Some fuel has leaked out of the barrel. Black pistols. The barrel says ICM. You see a star with little specks on it. ICM? This feels familiar somehow. Kim, what is the ICM? Insulindian Citizens Militia. It's the official name of the Communards Army. The black and white army of the revolution. Sounds an awful lot like. RCM? Sounds like RCM. Revachol Citizens Militia. It does. Why? The RCM may descend from the ICM. It's impossible to say. It was chaos after the war. The name was good for getting people to join us. Revachol West was mostly workers and criminals. Flammable in Spanish is inflammable, so it must be a variation of that. Huh. Nice political thoughts rush through your neocortex. A mediocre athlete would pant from dragging around his body on a busted crutch. But not you. You're thinking about politics with blood dripping down your thigh. Uh... Just catch your breath. This is better preserved than the others. You can still read the sign. He bows to inspect the barrel. A white star, point to the star on the label. No, an upside down star. With its horns in the sky, the symbol of the commune. 